Resistance in series and parallel circuits. In this experiment, we are going to measure and compare the resistance in a series and a parallel circuit. To carry out this experiment, you will need the following equipment. Electric circuit board, a battery, red and black connecting wires with crocodile clips at either end, three light bulbs and bulb holders, a switch, an ammeter, and a voltmeter. Place the three light bulbs onto the circuit board so that they are lined up in three parallel rows. Connect the bulbs using the connecting wire so that they are all connected in parallel as shown. Place the switch so one end is connected to the corner of the top row of bulbs. Take a battery and identify the positive end. Using the crocodile clip, attach a red wire to the positive end of the battery. Clip the other end of the red wire with the end of the switch not connected to the bulb. Clip a black wire to the negative end of the battery. Clip the other end of the black wire to the diagonal opposite corner of the row of bulbs. Press the switch to check if all three bulbs light up. If they don't, you will need to check they are screwed in properly and that there are no loose connections. Now observe the brightness of the bulbs. This is a parallel circuit. To quickly convert the circuit to a series circuit, disconnect one of the connecting wires from each side of the bulb in the center row. Press the switch and again observe the brightness of the bulbs. You should observe that the bulbs are not as bright when connected in series. Now disconnect the black wire that connects the negative terminal of the battery to the bulbs from the bulb only. Connect an ammeter in series between the battery and the corner of the bottom row of bulbs by connecting the black wire from the battery to the black negative plug in the ammeter. Take a red wire and connect it to the ammeter in the correct red plug at one end and connect the other end to the corner of the row of bulbs that the battery used to be connected to. The ammeter is now connected in series. To check it is connected correctly, press the switch and the needle should give a positive reading. Do not record this reading as the voltmeter must first be connected. Connect the voltmeter in parallel over the battery. Remember, the red positive wire should be connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the black wire to the negative terminal of the battery. Now we are ready to measure the resistance in a series circuit. Press the switch and read the ammeter and the voltmeter reading, being sure to use the correct scale. Record the readings on a results table and use Ohm's law to calculate the total resistance in the series circuit. The ammeter reading when in series came to 0.18 amps and the volt reading came to 4.3 volts. Using Ohm's law, rearrange the formula to calculate the resistance by dividing 4.3 by 0.18. The total resistance in the series circuit comes to 23.9 ohms. Now change the circuit back into a parallel circuit by reconnecting the wires to either side of the bulb in the center row like this. Press the switch and record the ammeter and voltmeter readings again and calculate the total resistance in the parallel circuit. The ammeter reading on the parallel circuit came to 0.7 amps and the voltmeter reading came to 2.5 volts. Using Ohm's law again, we will get a total resistance in the parallel circuit of 3.6 ohms. You should observe a much greater resistance in the series circuit compared to the parallel circuit, which explains why the bulbs were dimmer in series than when in parallel. This presentation was brought to you by the Cape Town Science Centre, made possible by the sponsorship of the Western Cape Education Department.